Beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Vocation Brewery. Vocation Brewery. I'm a big fan of Vocation. Um, their beers have been exceptional. I've had one or two, I'm going to be honest with you. I've had one or two which have not been maybe to the earliest standards of Vocation Brewery, but we go into every single beer review as excited as the first beer review. And we hope that the beer is still terrific. Uh, now, this is a Vocation Special Edition Ascension. It's a Eclipse Double Dry Hopped IPA at 6.8% ABV. Now, I had to Google Ascension, but I asked my wife to Google Ascension. I was like, what the, what's the, I've kind of heard of the word Ascension. And we both Googled it together and it's to ascend, isn't it? It's to rise. Um, so, so vocation are, are choosing to rise with this, <laughs> with this beer. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. They are lovely people at Vocation. I always see them at Brew London. Fantastic American guy there. If anybody goes to, Vo to, to beer festivals and they see Vocation, they'll know the American guy that I'm talking about. He's very friendly. He's very kind of like, you can, he, even if he's in his kind of like the busiest time of the festival, he'll still give you 10 minutes of his time. And not just me, not just me as an influencer, but I've I've stood by their bar and they've given members of the public kind of 10 minutes of the time when they, they, they've got a queue of 20 people at their bar. They are really, really good in terms of kind of what they do at beer festivals. And I find them really decent people. But as a beer reviewer, and I'm pretty sure they don't mind, um, as a beer reviewer, I have to be impartial. I have to be independent. I have to tell it how it is. Because if I don't tell it how it is, and if you've bought a can of this and you love it, and I love it, th th then fine. But if you bought a can of this and it's, it's not the greatest, and then here's me standing back saying how great it is when it's not that great. Well, you, you guys are going to smell that a mile off, aren't you? You guys are going to smell... What's the old saying? Smell a, smell a rat, that's it. You guys are going to smell a rat a miles off, aren't you? So um, we are as straight as a die on the channel. We have to be. Um, I don't think, I don't think it's, it's, it's enough to upset people when we're as straight as a die because we don't give, we're only giving our own personal opinion many a times. Let, actually, let's, let's use Vocations Black Forest Stout and as, as an example. I reviewed the Black Forest Stout from Vocation probably two or three weeks ago and on a personal level I didn't like it. It was too sweet for me, there was no bitterness. Um, for me on a personal point of view it was too far away from being a stout. But then I had a load of comments in the comments box saying actually this is the greatest stout in the world or or your opinion on stouts should be bitter is wrong. And your opinion on stouts being too sweet is wrong. So it's all subjective. It's all subjective. It's all kind of, I'm giving my own personal opinion. You guys give your personal opinion. And it's a chance. It's a chance. It's a little platform for you guys to kind of give your voice. You might be drinking this beer at the same time as me. You might choose to buy this beer from the wonderful Bingley Brew Club and drink the beer at the same time as me. And you might be either nodding your head or nodding your head this way. You're either agreeing or you're not agreeing. And, and that's the fun of it. That's the fun of reviewing beer on YouTube. Anyway, we had a two finger white head. I've been gassing again. One to two finger white head. It's a hazy... I'd say on its way to being straw coloured beer, lovely haze to it. Um, let's get the aroma on the beer. Wow. 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 My goodness me. Wow. The aroma is so pungent. Oh, 
Oh, that is full on. That is full beans. Really tropical, passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. Smells delicious, really delicious. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> After all that of like, me talking about whether I love a beer or I did, don't like a beer so much and, 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 and so and so and so and so, I'm just going to stand here and go, Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows! My goodness me, this is delicious. Oh, that is really, really good beer. It's so creamy, it's so rich, it's so hoppy. Yet, even though it's so creamy and rich, it's still so very drinkable. It's very, very drinkable beer, it's fantastic. 6.8% ABV glides down your throat like a 5%er. Oh, rubbing my hands together in, in absolute kind of joy here. The flavours of passion fruit and mango and grapefruit and orange peel and fleshy blood orange all in the middle. There is a level of sweetness to begin with. And I think that's just a vocation thing. I think that's a vocation thing now. I think their beers are generally probably a little bit sweeter than other breweries' beers. That's the path they've chosen to go down. That's the path that they 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 want to go down. Perhaps they people who are drinking their beer and buying their beer would prefer to drink slightly sweeter beers. It is slightly sweet, but there is a little bit of a... I'm not going to say... Massive amount of hop bitterness on the back end, but there's a a little bit of an alcohol burn that it's a satisfying alcohol burn that slides down the throat into the pit of the stomach. And that for me is enough to offset the slightly kind of dew sweetness about it. You're able to give yourself some balance, even if it's not a bitter balance, which I like in my IPAs. It's a it's a warming alcohol balance that I can kind of cling to, I can grab to, you know? Ooh, just suck a little of air through my teeth. One of those moments. What a lovely beer. It's so well-rounded. It is so well-rounded. It is so smashable. Absolutely smashable. For a double dry hopped IPA. I just can't stop. It's one of these beers you constantly want to sip at it. Sip, sip, sip. Next thing you know, you're almost in tears because there's none left. Um, I'm going to give the description on the back of the can in a moment, but I want to say thank you very much to Bingley Brew Club for sending me today's beer. Um, Bingley Brew Club, check them out online. Um, they're a company that based themselves, well, they're, they're in the Bingley area of the UK, they're up north, Bradford Bingley area of the UK, and they concentrate on northern brewers. So you have breweries like Salt, Amity, Frisky Bear, Salt, Salt Brewing, um, Salt Beer, sorry, Wishbone, uh, Salt Air Brewery, Magic Rock, Northern Monk, Timmy Taylor's, North Brewing Company, Binny Brew Club, Ilkley, Black Sheep, Horsforth, Kirkstall. Yeah, all of those lovely kind of breweries from the north. Um, I think the best brewers in the UK are from the north of the UK. So check out this website if you like 
Northern Beer. So this beer was sent to me by Bingley, Bingley Brew Club. Check them out. I'm now going to read the back of the can. A base of oats and wheat fermented with London Fog yeast gives a soft and supple mouthfeel with a subtly sweet fruity ester profile paired with citra in the whirlpool for an underlying juiciness. 6.8% ABV, 440 milliliter can. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic beer. I've had a bit of a love, slightly not love so much, relationship with Vocation over the last year or so. Some of the beers, absolutely love. Some of the beers, nah, not really that interested. Uh, and I'm talking to you, Black Forest Stout in Max and Spencer. Um, but, I mean, this, just concentrating on this for a moment. Of course, it, it should be about this. It shouldn't be about the Black Forest Stout, should it? That was reviewed weeks ago. I gave my opinion on that beer. Um, concentrate on, on this beer. I, I think that is tremendous beer. I'm going to give that a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.